Hello friends, this video on relations and functions part 34 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 33. So we have to tell whether the function is inverse or not. We have three functions f is this, g is this and h is this. We have to tell whether it is in vertical or not. So let's do the first part. For f, the question says 1, 2, 3, 4, it goes to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, it goes to 10. f of 1 is 10, 2 is 10, 3 is 10, 4 is 10. If you see, this function is not 1 over. Why? Because all these values are pointing to 1 over. Since not 1 over, it is not invertible. Let's take g. g is 5, 6, 7, 8. It goes to 1, 2, 3, 4. 5 goes to 4, 6 goes to 3, 7 goes again to 4, and 8 goes to 2. Here also if you see, on 4 there are 2 pointers coming, also one is free orphan, so it is not on top and it is not even 1 over. So this function is also not invertible. Let's take the last one, h1, h has value. 2, 3, 4, 5 and 7, 9, 11, 2 goes to 7, 3 goes to 9, 2 goes to 11, 5 goes to 8. You see this function, this is 1 over 1. Why? Because all these values have, have only one pointer. Also it is on to. Why? So this function is 1 over 1 on to. So it is invertible. But this is 1 over 1 to it is bijective. Since it is bijective, this is invertible. So what we will do, if we are to tell whether the function is invertible or not, the first thing we have to do is, we have to find whether the function is bijective or not. That this the function is 1 to 1 and on to or not. If the function is 1 to 1 and on to, that means the function is invertible. So this is invertible and this is not invertible. We have to show that the function from minus 1 to 1, this is minus 1 to 1, and this whole range R, this any real number, any real number I'll say, is given by fx is equal to x by x plus 2. So here the value of x can be minus 1 and 1. If I put minus 1 as a value, this becomes minus 1 by minus 1 plus 2, that is minus 1. So this minus 1 points to minus 1. This is minus one. If I tell one, because there are two possible values, plus one by one plus two, that is one by three. So one points to one by three. And there are so many other numbers also, like one by two, one by four, which for which there is no memory. There are orphan elements in this set. And this is my function f. Now Find the inverse of the function, but please note the inverse of the function is not this function. The function inverse is minus 1 to 1 to range of f. This is r. So I am talking about this function. This minus does minus 1 plus 1, and here it is range of f. So what is the range of f? Range of f is minus 1 and 1 by 3. So this is my function. And I have to find the inverse of this function. Please note, we are not asked to find the inverse of this function f to r. We are find, uh, we are asked to find the inverse of this function from minus one, one to range of f. Range of f is minus one and plus one by three. So the, we are supposed to find inverse of this function. To find inverse, the first thing is whether it is one one or on to or not. So if you see this, this function is 1 over 1 and 1 to y. It is 1 over 1 because minus 1 has only one element pointing to it and plus 1 by 3 also has only one element pointing to it. Also on to because there is no often element here. But if you notice, this is not on to. This function is not on to. But this one is on to. And this is the one we are asked. So th that means it is invertible. Therefore, invertible. 
correct so to find the inverse just flip it so this becomes minus 1 to plus 1 by 3 and this becomes minus 1 to plus 1 minus 1 goes to 1 and plus 1 by 3 goes to plus 1 this is my inverse of this and that is what I was supposed to find so we want to write in this fashion I'll say something f inverse is nothing but a range of f to minus 1 say plus 1 correct this is my f inverse for 2 or I guess this is g function g is equal to f inverse right f inverse or g are same actually here I'm just saying and this value is nothing but uh, g of y is here y is equal to x by x plus 2 to solve x comes out to be 2 by 5 1 minus 1 where y is not equal to 0 this, this becomes 2 by 5 1 minus 1 that's all and that is my answer we have this function from r to r given by fx equal to 4x plus 3 we have to prove it is invertible and also we have to find the inverse of it. So there are two approaches to this question. The first is we can prove that it is 1 to 1 non 2 and then we can prove it is invertible. But that approach is not good because anyway we have to find the inverse. So what we can do? We can take a function g and then we can find g o f and f of g and then we can prove it is invertible. So what we can do? So the question says y is equal to 4x plus 3. This one. We can say x is nothing but y minus 3 by 4. So we can say that there, let's assume there's a function g. It's also from r to r. We can say that g of y is nothing but y minus 3 by 4. Correct? This is my function I'm defining. Assuming this is the inverse of f. Now to prove, let's find g o f. This is nothing but g of f x. And this comes out to be g of 2x plus 3. That comes out to be g of 4x plus 3 is 1. And that is nothing but g of y is y minus 3 by 4 this similarly f of g of y this comes out to be f of g y this is f of g y is nothing but y minus 3 by 4 and there is nothing but f of x and that is y so if you see, I'm getting g of x is x and f of y is y. So thus I can say that f inverse is nothing but g. What is g? g is this function. This is the inverse of f. Please pay attention here to the difficult question. There is a function x to y and there is an invertible function. We have to show that it has unique inverse. To prove that it is unique inverse, let's assume it has two inverse. Let's assume g1 and g2 be two inverse of f. And then we'll prove that our assumption was incorrect. Correct. Right. So if g1 and g2 are two inverse, you can say that f of g1 is equal to f of g2 and that should be equal to i by correct. Right. Now if f of g1 is equal to f of g2, I can say that f of g1 by is equal to f of G to y. Now, since f is invertible, f is invertible. Since f is invertible, 
f is 1 over 1 correct since f is 1 over 1 we, we know that if f of x1 is equal to f of x2 and f is 1 over 1 that implies x1 is equal to x2 same thing here instead of x1 it is g1y here instead of x2 we have g2y here so from this we can say that g1y is equal to g2y till this part no issue since was f was 1 over 1 we could say that g1y is equal to g2y using this form now since g1 is also 1 over 1 because g is nothing but inverse of this function correct so g is also inverse of this and y is equal to y by default if you see thus we can say that g1 is equal to g that is both the functions are same so we assume that these g1 and g2 are two different inverse of f but we found that both are same function that is invertible function will have a unique inverse right let's take one more example so there's a function from 1 to 3 to a b c f1 is equal to a f2 is equal to b given and f3 is equal to c this is given now we have to find f inverse to find f inverse the first thing we have to find whether it is invertible or not so if you see this is 101 because a b c all only one points are coming right so it is 101 also it is on to y because there is no extra element here there is no orphan element in the codomain or in each side so it is invertible to invert invert this just flip this this is f find f inverse and just flip it this becomes a b c and here i get 1 2 3 a will point to 1 b will point to 2 and c will point this is my f inverse function done deal now the question is we have to prove that f inverse of f inverse is equal to f so let's find f inverse of f inverse so this guy let's flip it once again so flip this guy once again this becomes 1 2 3 and this becomes a b c and this is how the relation is if you see this is nothing but f f and this are exactly the same so we can say that f inverse of f inverse is f self thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again